Hey guys, Tripwire here with another unboxing video, and I've been really, really looking forward to this one because some of the brands mentioned in the previous preview card are some of my favourite, such as Supernatural. So, let's get this underway. I have my trusty pair of scissors. But yes, here we go. Let's get into the horror block. I believe this is the August horror block. And... I cannot wait to see what we've got in here. I mean, it, it feels heavier than usual, only slightly. And they've definitely tried to cram it in because there's definitely a raised bit here so that not everything fits as snugly as it usually does. Oh, no, nope. don't want to open it up yet that way. I want to turn it around so that I can't see. I don't get, as I said before, I don't get people that open it and just look in the box. It ruins the surprise. We'll look at the pre uh, look. We'll look at the explanation card first. That's just why. <laughs> it's like you don't. Why look at that and ruin what you're gonna get inside? All right. So first off, we're gonna go for the T-shirt as usual, and we have Texas Chainsaw. At least I believe it is. Is that upside? I'm confused now. Oh, no, it was. I just... What the hell did I think was that way up? Okay, somehow I thought it was so upside down. But it is Texas Chainsaw. That is actually pretty awesome. I like that. But yeah, I thought that was the other way up. But I don't know how, because all I could see was sort of like this part. So, where did I think his eyes were? There's something wrong with me today. There's something wrong with me every day, but... Never mind, so that's the t-shirt. I'm quite happy with that. Would have preferred it if the supernatural item was the t-shirt. I don't want it to be the Funko because I've already got three of them. I've got Sam Dean and Castiel without wings. And they are just here. There's Castiel, Dean, and Sam. Right. Next item. That's the Funko. What the hell is this? We have a Ghostbusters phone case. Fuck's sake! I really hope they wouldn't do it. Because I have a... Just remove it from under my 3DS. Sony Xperia Z2. And because this is quite an old phone, and the Xperia range in general isn't as popular as the Galaxy and iPhone range. Most companies don't bother with anything but Galaxies and iPhones for cases, which is just pretty shit to be honest. It means unless you buy a flag, one of the popular ones, you get left out. Luckily, my contract runs out very, very soon. And I'm going to be getting probably a Galaxy S7 Edge. So. As this phone case is for Galaxy, which is, I should be all right. But yeah, it is Ghostbusters. It's a Vigo. I'm going to take it out so you can see the detail on Vigo. But yeah, we have. Focus. There we go. Vigo. all his fancy get up so yeah that's pretty cool next item oh, I'm trying to leave the Funko to last because they're my favorite part and we have a supernatural medallion really it's not even official. That's a bit cheeky. I really hope this isn't the supernatural item. It is the logo, I believe. So that's the necklace or pendant. Uh, nickel plated zinc. Yep, so in time it will turn green. Freaking hate that. It's not even a decent quality one. It's one which is going to make your wrist or neck green. 
Okay, so far t-shirt is the best item, which is quite often the case. Unless I get a Funko, which I like. But yeah, we shall see. So I'm going to still save the Funko to last. There's a couple more things left in here. So what is this? Okay, that might have been the Supernatural logo. I'm not sure. If it isn't, and it's similar, that's fine because... Yeah, you're reading that right, if you can read it from there. We have Supernatural, the coloring book. And yeah, it's just, how much is this normally worth? Oh, it's nerd block exclusive. Well, um, I would like that, except I don't, I'm not very arty in it. They don't look like who they're supposed to look like. I mean, Castiel, well, there they do. Yeah, as you can see, it's just pictures of them. Wow. My God. It's a young Sam and Dean. God, I remember that. That was like season one, season two. Wait, so I'm running out of space on my desk. So I'm going to shove that in there. And next we have the Rue Morgue magazine, I expect. I don't know why they put this in every week, because... I suppose not everybody wants to read a magazine. A tribute to the author of The Haunting of Hill House on her 100th birthday, Shirley Jackson. Okay, so yeah, we have, as usual, Rue Morgue. And, and I've just noticed on the back a advert for the new Blair Witch film which I will be watching at some point in the future I don't know when but I liked the first one never bothered with the rest and this one's set in the same forest uh, right after the first so I'll watch that all right we've got lots of cards coming out so I'm gonna put them to one side Funko Pop is the only thing that's left I think, and before I look at it, I don't think that was a Funko Pop. The box is different. Oh, hang on, what is this? No, it's not. I'm not looking at the Funko Pop yet. I'm using one hand for this because the Funko Pop's in my other hand and I'm trying not to look at it. Really? <laughs> oh, you bunch of Muppets! As well as the colouring book, they gave you some special little horror block pencils. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's made me laugh, so I'll let them off. Uh, right, so this this Funko Pop thing or figure, it is... Ooh. Baby bleeds you alive, creepy doll head. Back. Okay, so here you go. Get a look at that. It's a freaking doll head. Yeah, there. Creepy doll head number two. They've not even named it. I suppose you can't name something like that. Let's have a look at this thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. What? Why isn't it lighting up? Oh, isn't... I am freaking stupid today. Whoa! I'll give you a clue of just what this is like by going... Hang on. So this is the last item. Frickin' doll head. 
Baby bleeds alive. Or baby bleeds you alive. Vampire light up doll. So we've had that one. We have the T-shirt for Leatherface Supernatural Coloring Book Pentagram Pendant. So it isn't that one, is it? No, because the one in Supernatural's got more flames around it. I'm a dumbass. I should have known that. Uh, Ghostbusters phone case, Vigo the Carpathian, and the Room Org magazine. So those were the items featured today. Come on, zoom, motherfucker. Come on. Focus. It's being an ass today, sorry about that. Normally my camera will focus quite fine, but it's being a dick. Right, so, with exclusives from it and the shining next month's horror block is all about stephen king that's awesome i am guaranteed to get something i like and i've not got any stephen king funko pops if they add a funko pop with pennywise i'll i don't i won't care what's in the rest of the block pennywise funko pop will make it the best block yet because that is one of my favorite horror films so yeah, overall, not overly satisfied with this block. I like the t-shirt, and the phone case will come in handy if I do in fact get the S7 Edge, which I probably will, because I'm not waiting until next Feb well, February? February to get the S8 and then pay stupid money to be able to get hold of one, because the S7 I can get for quite cheap now, because it's been out for about six, six months, eight, seven months. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Most of that stuff is alright, just not to my taste, so I'll probably stick it in my special giveaway bag. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can keep up to date with my unboxing videos, my gameplay videos, and so on. But yeah, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think of the box. I, I mean, I'm undecided, I think, overall. I'll leave it at that, undecided. But yeah, thank you for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye!